lots of issues there, but uh, the one thing that I think we can celebrate is that the institution is just so, so very strong, as witnessed by the stunt in Tasmania, that Richard Butler and the government of the day came off second best yeah. in that attempt. And uh, can I tell you that uh, uh, is still recounted. And interestingly enough, for what it's worth, when he was appointed uh, by a state Labor government, neither the federal Labor people, well, the Department of Foreign Affairs, I am advised, is somewhat tribal between the two general strands of politics. But both strands were shaking their heads, saying, who on earth, given Mr Butler's previous record in the area of foreign affairs and with the department, both sides, Labor and Liberal in foreign affairs, were saying, oh my goodness, this is going to end in tears. And uh, that is what it did. There were other rumours as to why he was given that uh, job, that he had been looking around for a seat in the federal parliament and nobody uh, could give him one, etc., etc. And so somebody picked up the phone to the hapless Tasmanian Premier and said, have we got a deal for you? We've got to look after a mate. And uh, he foolishly uh, did so, and of course it all ended in tears. And if I might say, we have now gone back very much uh, to the traditional role of a uh, governor, and uh, that seems to uh, be working well and uh, being accepted by the Tasmanian people. Now, in relation to what we can do, I think we have a very real challenge to build on the positives. And in the past, we were sort of no need for change, trying to stop the dam wall from breaking, etc. I think we can now be in the role of filling up the dam again. I think the dam wall is uh, pretty well secure and we can now fill up the dam again and uh, ensure that there is the appropriate recognition, the crest, etc. Whether we would go uh, back to uh, dames and knights of the realm, etc., uh, I don't know, but uh, I would anticipate that we would be uh, moving to re-adopt some of those, uh, those aspects of our culture that uh, you know, nobody... Uh, really objected to, and if I might come back to the um, question before, that was also part of the cultural cringe of the time, that you, you couldn't, by some, that you couldn't have sirs and dames, etc., whereas New Zealand seems to have no problem with it, and mm -hmm. uh, I think that there may well be one day a trend back to that, but when and if, I don't know. It would be fair to say that the average Australian, it's not front of mind, and that is why I think if you just do it in a slow what manner, uh, we will be able to reintroduce and re-elevate, elevate further the role of the Crown within our community. And I think that would do a great service uh, for all of us, but especially for future generations for the purposes of stability, which uh, is a very, very important part for any democracy to endure. You do need those pillars of stability because of the vagaries of democracy where you're up one day, down the next. You do need a few uh, very solid, steady pillars, and I think the monarchy serves as one of those in our society. Thank you very much.